Well, here we are. Pride Fighting Championships is bringing its showcase of the Lightning Quick Lightweights and the next generation of stars to the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya, Japan. Alongside the one and only boss Rudin, El Wapo, I'm Mauro Ranello, welcoming you to Bushido 4. Now tonight, boss, it is going to be Team Japan taking on the formidable Brazilian top team in a best of three series headlined by a rematch between Antonio Rogério Nogueira and Kazuhiro Nakamura. Yeah, you know what? Nakamura lost the first time where they met, you know, so revenge is on his mind. And revenge is always a great motivation to train really, really hard. But let's face the facts. Rogério, he's on a roll. So I think in order for Nakamura to win this fight, he's going to be, he's going to need a miracle. All right, in another bout, you can file in the deja vu all over again department. Mr. Pride, Akira Shoji, hopes to avenge his only submission loss against Paulo Filho. Yeah, and Paulo Filho, when he walks to the ring tonight, will have the same thing on his mind, which is winning the fight. And he did that already eight times, because he's eight and zero. Now, Sochi, he's going to try to stay away from the armbar. And the last time he got caught in the armbar, he couldn't pull it out. Why? Because his head got stuck in the rope. He's going to try to avoid the armbar. What's going to happen? We just have to wait and see. Well, fresh off a six-second destruction of the previously unbeaten Health Gracie, Takanori Gomi takes on Fabio Mello. Yeah, and you know what? Fabio Mello, for sure, he watched that much. So for sure, he's not going to rush in and walk onto a knee, okay? He's also a very good striker himself. So this match, both fighters are very even Evenly matched. Hey, the always dangerous Miracle Krokop is making his fourth consecutive Bushido appearance. He takes on Shungo Oyama. Now, boss, some say the Japanese striker Oyama could be the most feared striker from Japan that the Croatian sensation has opposed. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I don't know. Let's face it here, okay? We, <laughs> I think Miracle Krokop is the best striker we have here at the Pride Fighting Championship. So in order for Oyama to win this fight, he has to take the fight to the ground and try to go for a submission. About a lot of North American fans are really looking forward to seeing Pitts, the boogeyman, Dean Lister, a grappling great against Supreme Striker and UFC veteran Amar Solowev. Now, both are making their Pride debuts, and boss, a lot of fans think this could be the fight of the night. Yeah, you know why? Because it's a classical matchup. We have the striker, we have the ground fighter. Although, Dean Lister said, he told us, that people don't know how his striking is, and he's got very good, <laughs> decent striking skills. Now, if I was Dean, I, I wouldn't take a risk. I would use those striking skills in order to set up a takedown and then just do what you do best, and that's go for submissions. All right, Bushido means the way of the warrior, and tonight, warriors from all over the world are ready to throw down pride style. ゴトク。それとも既に近ばねか。脳みそを貫く刺激に飢えた者たちよ。ここは帰る道のない崖っぷち。強く熱く紅に輝く日の光に手をするか。それとも闇に葬られるか。
Wow, looks like this place is on fire or not, Maro. Yeah, and no doubt, boss, the beatings are about to begin here at Bushido number four from the venerable Rainbow Hall in Nagoya, Japan, where tonight it'll be the Brazilian top team taking on Team Japan in a best of three series, the feature attraction. Wow, and look at the opening again. It's always unbelievable. We say it every show, every time. Look at the drums, listen to the drums. It's a spectacle. There is Marcus Maximus Aurelio, who is indeed making his debut in Pride tonight. The ultra charismatic Dokona Jonaske Mishima, off a entertaining loss to Hell Gracie at the inaugural Bushido, is in action. There you see the UFC veteran Amar Sulawev, also making his debut in Pride. And he faces the American Dean Lister. A huge following amongst hardcore MMA fans. They're very happy that he has a chance finally at Pride Fighting Championships. There's the 70s guy, Funky Brady Fink. Yeah. And a thunderous ovation for Japanese legend Maha Sakurai, Fink's opponent tonight. Kenichi Yamamoto, he will attempt to be successful here at Bushido 4. Minowa, the snake-bitten fighter in Pride Fighting Championships. Will his luck change tonight? The tallest fighter in MMA history, seven foot two, Giant Silva. Takashi Sugura has the unenviable task of trying to take down the Giant tonight. Talk about unenviable tasks, Boss Rudin Oyama takes on a very committed Croatian sensation. Oh yes, and I'm sure that it's the first one, the next one. A raucous reception for Mirko Krokop as he continues his road to redemption. A very entertaining, charismatic fighter from Brazil. From Japan, Mr. Pride, Akira Shoji. A record 21st appearance in Pride tonight. Fabio Melo also represents Brazilian top team in this best of three series against Team Japan, and he takes on the Japanese supernova, Takanori Gomi. And in our main event tonight, Antonio Rogerio Nogueira, fresh off that electrifying win over Kazushi Sakuraba New Year's Eve at Shockwave, he will take on Kazuhiro Nakamura in a rematch of Nakamura's debut in MMA. The fighters have been introduced to the big crowd here at the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya, Japan, and tonight, Team Japan hopes that at the end of that rainbow is the pot of gold in the form of a victory over Brazilian top team. Aokona, Luis Buscape Senju, Akakona, this is a Bushido Challenge matchup featuring uh, the person you see on your screen from Brazil, Luis Buscape. Firmino Buscape, the nickname given to him by his first coach, Mario Scata. And in Brazil, in Portuguese, it means 
simply a singular firework, something you light and it goes very fast on the ground. And uh, Buscapi was christened with that nickname after winning his six fights, his opening six fights of his career in lightning quick fashion. He'll be taking on Hiroyuki Abe, wrestling out of the Abe Ani Combat Club here in Japan. So, boss, it's going to be Brazil versus Japan in this Bushido Challenge matchup. Yep, a little taste, a little taste of everything what's going to happen tonight with Brazil against Team Japan. Uh, I could see this going to be a good match. You know, Abe is coming off a loss to Jawa Roca via armbar submission in his last fight, which took place last September right here in Nagoya in a Shudo event. Meanwhile, for Buscape, he submitted Raphael La Rose by armbar at a Shudo event in Switzerland. So both of these veterans of the smaller fighting promotions now attempting to make a splash here in the biggest and the best MMA organization in the world, Pride Fighting Championships. Abe possesses good takedown defense has been working diligently on that aspect of his game. Very happy that Bushido is giving fighters in his weight class an opportunity. And really, that's what Bushido is all about, showcasing the next generation of stars and the lighter weight fighters in the mixed martial arts game. And Boss Rutin, like you said, this could be a very entertaining bout. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. I mean, Brazilian top team is really good, you know, and uh, Abe is a very good fighter too. So let's see what kind of fight works. Muscape is 22, 5'8", 158 pounds, making his debut in Pride Fighting Championships, a member of the Brazilian top team. Abe is 34, 5'7", 155 pounds, also his first fight in pride and the debuts come at Bushido 4 from the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya and there you see the stare down boss Buscape looks like he means business <laughs> yeah both of them do nice t-shirt the referee emblematic of course uh, yeah of his employers and why not <laughs> spread the word pride fighting championships I did it say at pridefc.com okay no no I was just making sure here Again, two five-minute rounds, and then right this. away, is tagged with that right hand by Buscapi, and this one could be over quick. No, it doesn't wow. look like it really has him. He got stunned, though, boss, with that right hand right off the bat. He's got the underhook right. there. He's dropping, tried to drop down, but he's got the underhook. Oh, now he's passing the underhook. He's got the single leg. Bring him down. Absolutely able to shake out the cobwebs early, and here's Buscapi and the slam down. Nice. You see, now that's what we're talking about. Buscape looking to posture now, get that right arm of his out of the defensive position by Abe. Abe doing a good job of neutralizing the arm there momentarily, but Abe now has it free, boss, and continues to rein in those body shots and shots upstairs. Yeah, that's the thing he has to do. You know, he needs to work and work and see and hope that something comes open, uh, which he can capitalize on. Look here, he's locking both hands up. That means he could go for an armbar, try to go for an armbar, or uh, any other submission, or even maybe a turn, a sweep, a scissor sweep, many things. So far, the scouting report on Buscape is definitely accurate. This guy is a fireball man. He starts off lightning quick. Now they will restart in the center of the ring, boss, in the close guard of Abe. Now, Abe usually likes to press the fight, throws knees in the clinch, isn't afraid to strike someone's face while in the guard, but right now he's in the defensive position here, thanks to the Brazilian. Yep, and you see what we what he does, and you asked me today, uh, Buscape, he's standing up all the time, which makes it very tired for Abe to keep the guard on him, you know? It makes the legs tired. Buscape, perpetual motion while in the guard, reining in those lefts and rights, doing a good job of mixing it up, boss, as he goes to the body and then to the head. Yep, and you see the guard is already open now. I think that he wants to go maybe for a knee bar or something. No, Buscape is to the side mount. Very nice, good positioning. Great cross side position. Almost, he's in the half, half guard, guard now of yep. Abe. Well, my feeling is that he's going to escape this real fast. But this is a very smart thing, what uh, Abe is doing right now. Looking for the Kimura now is Abe, but doing a good job there is, or excuse me, Buscapi, but Abe really just 
putting pressure on there and just trying. There, oh, it comes out. Good show of strength by Luis Buscape, and now Abe gives him his back. Yeah, and good positioning from Buscape. He keeps his position. He keeps uh, being dominant. Now he's got Simon Sancho. It's going to be over. Yep, he's got to grab his biceps. Eve, grab your own biceps. You've got to apply more power. On the face. Abu Skapi, the intensity, really putting all of the pressure. He's got it, yes. Now he grabs his biceps, you see? And now probably it's going to be over. Yeah, this is going to be over. He's going to tap. Abe desperately trying hey, to escape, desperately trying to stay alive here in the opening round. He's got it. I, I mean, I cannot believe that he didn't tap yet. Showing the heart of a fighter, a warrior in Japan is Hiroki Abe. As Abe it's is over. finally over. He's out. That's what I said, he moved from his forearm to his biceps and he made it a little bit more tight and they end up the fight. He's doing his nickname again, <laughs> Buscape. In wow, very impressive press. fashion and coming at two minutes and 52 seconds of the opening round, Luis Buscape Firmino in his Pride Fighting Championships debut wins via side choke against Hiroki Abe and uh, maybe not the smartest move on Abe's part not to tap out earlier as right now it looks like he's paying as he's showing the effects of it boss yeah there was a lot of pressure on his neck also now because the side choke was a little bit off to the side so he's applying a lot of pressure on his neck on, the, on, on his column in the back and that uh, yeah could damage your opponent but I'm sure that it didn't Buscape improves to 14 and 1 in his MMA career. The only loss coming to Eli Suarez at World Valley Tudo Championships in Brazil. Let's take a look, boss, as we see all kinds of offensive pressure here by Buscape as he controlled the back early on and now turns him into the side choke. Exactly. It's, it's perfect. What he did was perfect. He moved into the side mount. Everything was perfect. Side mount into the side choke. Yeah, I mean, this is it. Buscape means fireball, and indeed delivering the fireworks in this Bushido Challenge matchup was Luis Firmino of Brazil as he wins in his Pride debut here at Bushido number four. Aurelio's 35, 10, 116 pounds, his first fight in Pride Fighting Championships. Mishima Dokunjo Nosuke! Dean Mishima, 32, 5'8", 155 pounds, 0 and 1 in Pride FC. All right, boss, this is Bushido rules. One 10-minute round, one five-minute round to determine a winner. And Aurelio comes in with all kinds of credentials. Hook and shoot lightweight champion, AFC lightweight champion, Ring of Fury lightweight champion. is a two-time Pan American Brazilian jiu-jitsu champion, five-time Brazilian state champion. So we know his credentials, but Mashima, we also know, is a tremendous fighter. And look at this. They're raring to go, boss. Oh, yeah, they're ready to go. Yeah, they want to go and throw some ball. Look at this. Wow. And the crowd already chanting the name of Mashima. He feels he's better than Aurelio in striking and takedowns. We'll see if that's the case here early on. Oh, that was a long, he's got a long reach actually there, Aurelio. Good sprawl by Mashima. Into the guard of Aurelio. He's going already, yeah. They, they're going to start working right away on submissions. Uh, Aurelio, for sure. Oh, Mashima, oh, great nice. job of picking him up and slamming him down, a la Rampage Jackson. Well, of course, not with that much authority, but again, we're talking about fighters in the lightweight class here at 155 and 160 pounds, respectively. He's going to do it again. Aurelio busy from underneath, though, however, putting in those left hands. And look how long his limbs are. You know, he can almost go behind his knee. Look at this, the guard. He does oh, have Aurelio. a two-inch height advantage, does Aurelio over Mashima. But right now it's Mashima in control from Aurelio's guard. 
Here we go for an and he's bar. going for the arm bar there. That's oh, right. Oh, nice up nice. kick right to the face. From the butt scoop position now, Aurelio. Looks like uh, Mishima was uh, kind of telegraphing the fact that he was going to do a jump stomp there. Yep. Wow. Nice. Mishima is doing a great job here. Right through the top guard there of Aurelio. Now Aurelio looking for that high guard as uh, he'll try to set him up perhaps for a triangle. He has to create the distance though, boss. And uh, right now Mishima doing a good job of smothering Aurelio in his guard. Yeah, he's leaning all the way over. And he's going real high for the guard, but that's because he probably wants to set up an... Uh, an arm bar, and if he escapes one arm, then he's going to go straight into the triangle. But with his long legs, he's really going to have to pull his head. Well, Aurelio from the bottom, peppering Mishima with lefts and rights. Some light shots just to uh, grab his attention. Yeah, he's still looking for it. Any second now, he's already trying to throw his right leg over. Oh. Mishima now doing a real good in job in defending it. Tries to escape. Escape the guard. Triangle choke. There we go. He's got the triangle. But he's got Aurelio. such long arms. He really had to pull the head now. See, because armbar. He's getting a straight armbar. No, no, he missed it. Mishima doing wow. a good job of defending the submission attempts of Marcus Aurelio. Yeah, and the Marcus fans a responding kind. Yeah, Marcus Aurelio should have pulled his foot behind the back of his knee. He just didn't have it there, and then he could have probably finished him with the triangle. You see Mishima is pushing his face all the time. It's He's something very smart. airways and really just keeping him uh, irritated. And there's a nice right hand from oh, the top, and nice then he comes right down with another right hand. A forearm shot there by Mishima. Very smart. Non-stop neck cranking. Three minutes have elapsed here in this bout between Mishima and Aurelio. A tremendous fight thus far. As we've seen action from the top and bottom. Again, Aurelio's only loss was to Antonio McKee at King of the Cage 27. A split decision. Many in attendance felt he won. This guy, again, boss, a great pedigree. A tremendous fighter with American top team. Yeah, he's good. That's one thing for sure. But Mishima is really impressing me right now. Well, we know all the credentials of Dokon Jonaske Mishima. Great record of 14-3-2 and in MMA. Nurtured his career in Shudo, now really trying to make a mark here in Bushido. See those hammer fists. And there's a nice kick. Whoa, oh, and a nice kick. up kick. Oh, look at those heels. He and his he's heels. going for a leg lock here. Yeah, but it's this Mishima. One, there's a killer's pull. It's nothing. It's, it, it's only pain. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, we talked about that as well. Why a lot of fighters expend that necessary energy there. You can see the up kick so there. easy. Uh, those Achilles tendon holds really may be painful, but you're right, not a lot of fighters submit. And now a transition here and a sweep by Aurelio. So let's see what Aurelio can do from uh, Mishima's guard. Yeah, the referee doing a good job there. If he doesn't see a lot of action, he's going to bring them back up to their feet, and that really is the mandate of uh, Bushido. Oh, he's getting a yellow card. And a yellow card for a headbutt. has been issued uh, for an illegal headbutt. Uh -huh. we, let's see if you can see that in the replay later on. And otherwise, rewind the tape and watch the slow motion yourself. <laughs> Two fighters face off once again. A nice kick there, attempt by Mishima. This is with the left, but connects with the right. Long arms. He's using it very well. Nice knee up the he middle by have... Aurelio. Oh, look at this. He... Oh, that was not a smart move. He falls into Aurelio's guard as he was tagged upstairs. Yeah, Aurelio should have turned him. He should have never gone uh, to this position. And if he does, like right now, he should attack right away. Take advantage of the fact that hopefully those punches had impact. And he's a little dazed. No, he looks pretty clear to me. Halfway through round one, Mishima has to posture up here and really try to escape Aurelio's guard. Aurelio doing a good job underneath of defending. And now he's looking for that uh, triangle choker arm bar. You can see the wheels turning in Aurelio's head as he looks to position himself. There you see, Whoa. boss. Mishima now drops a quick hammer fist. Aurelio misses with that left cross. 
And again, I say it again, the non-stop pressing on his jaw or on his throat is really annoying for Ohelio on the bottom. Nice, oh, beautiful right, right hand right on the button. From long distance, Mishima now just getting busier and more aggressive. As he stands up, we'll have to pass the guard though, and he could do some serious damage. But he is managing to connect here. Now it's all Mishima. Trying to attempt here by Aurelio. Mishima with the oh, kick there. This. Really using everything at his disposal, and that's what makes Mishima such an entertaining fighter. Never a dull moment with Dakota Jonasake. Mishima's in the oh, ring. There's nice a stop stop. loss. Beautiful. And he's done some damage with that. As you can see, the mouse underneath the eye of Aurelio, and there's some blood. Yeah, he's cut him open. Yep, it was already before. Look at this. Oh, reverse the situation now. They're at the ropes. We're going to restart it in the center of the ring round now. I think the referee's doing a really wow. good job of keeping this out. action moving, and a timeout has been called that they will take a look at Marcus Aurelio's cut under his left eye. And the fans showing their appreciation as they applaud the efforts of Dokkan Jonasake Mashima. Well, oh, say that three times in a row. I have trouble saying it once, thank you very much. What a name. What a fighter. Yeah, no, he's, well, very exciting. I know that you uh, raised a quizzical eyebrow during the interviews, boss, when uh, he uh, cited Volkan as an influence due to his submission skills. Of course, Volkan, one of the first foreigners to uh, come to Japan displaying submission skills back in the day. And yep. here's a look at the replay, Ooh, boss. There was that hard right, and it was a full hit. All right, the match resumes. Oh. And they're just slugging it out now, boss. Oh, both of them try a kick, and now back into the open guard, looking to pass it immediately is Mishima. Yeah, which he has to do. You don't want to have him in the guard. Well, Although he's done, he's done a good job while in Aurelio's guard tonight. He's really true. done some damage. Yep, absolutely true. So, boss, from Aurelio's standpoint, what does he have to continue doing? You see him trying the submissions, but so far Mishima doing a great job of escaping them. Does he just have to continue to... Go back to the drawing board the way he's doing? Just what he's doing right now will give him the win. That's one thing for sure. But one mistake. Oh, Whoa. nice left hand. Good left hand. That means he's got a good right and a left. And really, if you're watching at home, boss, I mean, it, it, it's not as one-sided as it may look. I mean, Mishima's more aggressive and stuff and has done damage with his striking. But Aurelio's done a great job of uh, the submission attempts from the bottom. No, you're absolutely right. Look at this. There's an armbar here. I don't know if his elbow's there. He's got to really pull it out. Mm, I don't know. It doesn't look like Mashima feels that he's in too much trouble, however. No, no. And you know Aurelio's taken a lot of damage. You have to wonder how much uh, fuel is left in his tank right now because he's been peppered. And again, the fans rally behind Mashima. Yep. Mishima is doing a real good job in just staying there and let Ohelio think that the armbar is there, but yeah. it isn't there, and he's throwing away all his energy. Nice right hand again. It's almost that rope -a dope mentality, but you're just standing yep. still and allowing the opponent to expend the energy in, in attempting the submission. Yeah, but hey, watch out. You know, we know uh, Nogueira, and he pulls out of a submission always at the end of the fight when he's in the most trouble. Bang, suddenly there's a submission. So you never know. A tremendous bout here at the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya, Japan. The fans enjoying every moment of it. We hope you are too. It's Bushido go 4. Again. And again, another submission attempt. Look but there's Mishima just rain down those repeated hammer fists. Whoa, if he would have started this position, now he should go and try to pass the hat and go for a triangle. Hopefully he pulls the arm out. No, or Umaplata to the side. No. Mishima, real good job of positioning here, boss. Really yeah. able to answer any uh, move by Aurelio from the bottom. And uh, oh, there's some nice uh, heels to the side of the head, a heel strike by Aurelio. And again, both fighters really putting it all on the line here. Nonstop action between Mishima and Aurelio. And that's what Bushido is really all about, oh, boss. Oh, nice right up kick there to the head. 
of Mishima. Oh, he's going to go for triangle again. No, and like I said before, two arms in or two arms out, and Mishima is doing it perfectly, you see? We're into the final 20 seconds of what has been a thrilling opening round between Mishima and Aurelio. I mean, Mishima just needs to pull that arm out of there, but Nobody. he's content to allow Aurelio to expend that net energy. Wow, what a first round, huh? Look at this, look at the awesome. strikes. Keeps going. Boss, wow. we saw a little bit of everything, and that's really what Pride Fighting Championships Bushido is all about. We have Mishima, 155 pounds, Aurelia, 160 pounds. We talked about the lightweights and what they bring to the table, and you really saw an indication of that in that opening 10 minutes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, Mishima, what a difference since his last fight, huh? I mean, well, he's attacking non-stop, he's pulling out, he's stamping on his and to, face. And, and I mean, to be fair to him, everything. though, boss, to be fair to him, when we watch, we revisit that match against Talf Gracie. Sure, Gracie emerged victorious, but uh, Mishima was as, as busy as he's been in this fight. This yep. guy, I don't think this guy can be boring, even if he tried. Yeah, and his whole personality, you see the hair, he's got everything. Look at the reply. Whoa, that's the triangle, you see, and he should have locked his foot now behind the back of his uh, knee. Even more. Especially because, oh, and now he slipped out. Yep, it was close. And kudos close. to Aurelio as well for remaining steadfast in his game plan, but look at that Ooh. shot. He took some real heavy hands to the face, did Aurelio. That was probably the shot that cut him. Look, from there on, it started bleeding. I think bleeding. you're right. Good job, Bas Rute. Ooh, look at this. Look at that, and now he stamps him with his right foot. Yeah, he's bleeding there already. That was it, that was the right you know, straight. Aurelio, in addition to uh, being a uh, master at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, as you can see the swelling uh, continue under his left eye, he trains in Western boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing and wrestling. You know what I think would really light up this crowd, boss, and those of us uh, watching, if, if Aurelio and Mishima decided here to just go toe to toe for a while. Yeah, but hey, I think that uh, Ohelio doesn't want to strike with him right now. Although, Although he connected, he, yeah, he connected a few good times. Uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, now we only have five minutes left. Let's not forget that. This is not a 10-minute round. And Aurelio, I think, is losing this fight right now. So uh, why not? Just let it all hang out. Put on a show for the crowd. Let's see what happens here as round two is underway. Ooh. Nice putting back kick there by Mishima as he pulls another trick up out of his bag. He doesn't have a bag. Thank oh, you very much. Take my joke, please. Oh, there we go. Look, now this is a good position for Helio. It is as he managed to slip his head out. Now has it in the butterfly guard of Mishima in the corner, although in the corner is it still as advantageous as it could be, boss? Yeah, but you know what? They're going to restart it probably in the center of the ring That's because if they're I mean. not, it's very easy for him to keep that butterfly guard there, you know, and uh, Mishima really wants to have the full guard, trust me. No doubt now about that. Now he's going to pass it to the side mount. Let, he's trying already. He's got the hook in, does uh, Mishima, that left foot. is doing a good job of it's, not allowing yeah. Aurelio to, to pass the guard. Yeah, and by holding and his arms, yeah, he can't do anything. Exactly, yep. good job neutralizing the striking attack of Aurelio. So Mishima showing that he can do it while in the guard and doing it from the guard as well. Yeah, the thing also is you cannot escape that butterfly guard. Oh, actually, you can now. <laughs> Look at this. Aurelio now. Yeah, but he's going to go for that straight armbar again right away. He's right away in the position, but I don't know, man. Mishima has been escaping everything. You know, the truest sentence that uh, Mishima said, the truest saying was he feels he was born to be a fighter, and he's really showing that here tonight. And Marcus Aurelio really impressing the fans in his Pride debut. These are the matchups the Pride Fighting Championships endeavors to bring you the very best in mixed martial arts. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Nice, again, strike right through the guard of Aurelio. And again, Aurelio wants that to arm. keep that arm. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's very focused on the left arm. He's gonna stamp him again, look at this. He's gonna step right through it. And smart there by Aurelio with the, the heel strikes again. Oh, and now Mishima says, okay, you can hit me with your heel, but how do these fists feel? Yeah. Boss, really, you can feel it here. We're, we're in a more intimate venue here at the Rainbow Hall in Nagoya, and you can feel that the fans are totally into this fight. 
every step of the way. You can feel the energy in this, uh, you know, again, credit Mishima and Aurelio for a great, great bout here at Bushido 4. Yeah, they're both working really hard and a really high, it's really high paced. A lot of people don't understand how much, how much strength and power and endurance you need. Well, it's nowadays, like this. let's face it, every fighter's in cross-training. Every fighter knows a little bit about everything when it comes to the disciplines. Right now, what gives you the edge is your conditioning, and we can see that both these fighters are very, very well-conditioned to be going at the pace they've been going since the opening bell. Look how he broke his guard. He put his knee in between. Well done. Uh, Helio has such a long legs that he just could put his knee in between and break the guard. And we see Mishima is bleeding in his nose. If I saw it right here from the ring, we couldn't see it yet. But watch, he's bleeding too. Mishima yep. has the underhook and he's clasped his hands together, wants to keep Aurelio neutralized. Yeah, I think Aurelio physically is stronger than Mishima. And there you see him now with side control. And this is the place where he wants to be. Oh, Back into the butterfly guard. Yep. Mishima is no doubt cut. But uh, again, the medical staff here at Pride, if there is any danger whatsoever to the fighter, the referee will stop it immediately, address the situation, and right now, that does not seem to be the case. Although, yes, the referee has called a timeout, and there you see, There's wiping the face, it's no nothing. big deal. Here we go. No, no. Half butterfly guard here by Mishima Aurelio. Willie, what does he have to do now, boss? We're into the final minute and a half. If Aurelio is to uh, pull this one out, what does he have to do right here, right now? He has to finish him. The, in what way? What would you say I, from I the position uh, he's in? What would you recommend? Go for the mount, full mount, and then go for the side mount, and go for a submission. That's it. What about some, Yeah, but no, nice the explosion of the this, hips. Look at this. And a nice backdoor escape by wow. Mishima. Beautiful. Yeah, he, Mishima's really impressive right now going again for the triangle and Mishima's going for the kill the and pull but that's not a smart move to make because it's really easy to escape. You know a lot of casual fans especially in North America they they say that the ground game is boring that's why the, you know mixed martial arts will never be accepted in the mainstream. My friends you're watching an artistic display of the ground game here between Aurelio and Mishima. It's been absolutely awesome boss. Yeah it is but he's he's, he's got to strike harder than this. He's got, to, he's got to do something now. Inside because control. Time is running out. He's got to make a submission. You can hear Aurelio's corner. They are becoming more and more intense as we are into the final 30 seconds. And really, Aurelio's got to just start throwing bombs here, boss, and maybe go for the knockout. No, I don't know. I think a submission would not anymore. Well, it's going I don't, to be too think, late. I don't yep. think after what we've seen, That's I don't true. think he can submit Mishima. Yeah, but he's never been in the side mount yet. And he's in the side mount right now. And Mishima doing exactly what he needs to do, probably cognizant as well, maybe his corner telling him how much time is left. Aurelio, some weak knees, and wow, oh, what a great fight here at Bushido 4, Nogoya's Rainbow Hall between Dakona Janosake, Mishima, and Marcus Aurelio. Aurelio raising his arms, and why not? A great first effort here in Pride, but I believe Mishima will get the victory tonight, boss. How about you? Yeah, I think so too, but uh, sometimes, you know, it's 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 uh, judged by the fight. It's the exactly whole fight. the whole duration and, so and how you finish. Finished stronger. Well, did he really finish stronger though? Did yeah, he finish stronger? Because he was in control, dominant position, but he wasn't really aggressive. He yep. wasn't nailing him with knees or strikes. And look at Mashima. <laughs> He's doing oh, some yoga there. This guy's awesome, man. Like this is indeed the future of the sport right here. And Aureli also getting involved now, doing some push-ups and why not? I mean, these guys deserve all the accolades. A backflip hey. off the rope by Mashima. Wow. Woo. Energy enough. Awesome job by both fighters, and now we go to the judge's decision. And of course, the drama now builds as we await the official decision. It's been a great fight. Marcus Aurelio hoping to improve to 12 and one, while Mishima hopes to record his 15th victory in mixed martial arts. Again, we saw Mishima in the inaugural Bushido card. This is Bushido number four. Again, coming up later tonight, the best of three series between Team Japan and Brazilian top team Mirko Krokop still to come as well. And a fight a lot of fans are looking forward to in the United States and North America. Dean Lister, the boogeyman, has found his way to Japan as he takes on UFC veteran Amar Suluev. And now, I do believe we're about to find out who won this fight. Judge Miyake, 
三島,三島ジャスマットアウレリオスプレッドセッション三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島三島<laughs> Look at this. What the, a character, right? The question <laughs> that needs to be asked, and the answer is already known, but let's ask it anyway. Does Marcus Aurelio deserve another shot at Pie Fighting Championships? Oh, you bet. yes, for sure. Oh, yeah. No, it's In a very fact, I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch between these two. Let's take a look here, boss. Boom, and out of gear. That right hand. Very effective with the right hand. So, landing the left, although they were miss. えっと正直今回負けたらもう引退考えたんでえっと昨日も夜もちょっとナーバスになってしまってえっと今日とりあえず OK boss we're gonna put uh, those uh, Japanese lessons that the uh, good folks at uh, Pride put me through and I'm gonna tell you that uh, Mishima is now addressing the crowd and telling them that if he would have lost tonight he was going to consider retirement that seems yeah, to be very too. surprising right now because this guy has a very bright future ahead of him Sure, he's 32 years old, but Dokan Janosuke Mishima is definitely a superstar on the rise in Japan. He records the victory. Split decision over Marcus Maximus Aurelio. Mishima will be back in Pride Fighting Championships. The time is near. Pride Fighting Championships. It started with 16 fighters. Some survived. It is over with the armbar. Some He's didn't. Four fighters remain. Who will survive? Pride Fighting Championships. The Final Conflict 2004. Let the showdown begin. Premiering August 22nd on pay-per-view. Well, Pride Fighting Championships is very pleased to welcome Dean the Machine Lister to the roster, making his debut here tonight at Bushido Number no. 4. Dean, you have developed quite a reputation amongst the hardcore MMA fans, and uh, how do you feel about uh, making it finally here in Japan and uh, working for Pride Fighting Championships? Well, I've had a lot of ladders I've climbed in my life, a lot of steps I've taken. This is like the final the big step, so I'm glad to be here, finally glad to make it here. Very happy. And tonight you face uh, Amar Sulawev, a, a yes. UFC veteran, a very tough mm -hmm. fighter, in fact, a consummate striker. You're more of a ground competitor, but how do you compare your striking techniques to your ground game? Do you feel confident enough going in against Sulawev knowing that he's a, a very good striker? Absolutely, I feel confident. I feel very good about this fight. I know he's a very tough opponent, uh, but my striking is a lot better than people might think. I just never show it. Never had to show it, so I've uh, always been taking people to the ground. Uh, when I have to show it, I'll show it. I think it'll be this fight. Boss Rune, I think the music very indicative of the uh, personality that is about to make his way to the ring. Very daunting, very ominous, very dangerous. Everything Amar Sulawev does is with bad intentions. Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of power, striking power, good kicks, man. Um, this this yep. guy's been through it all, boss, a record yep. of 40 and 6 in MMA, yeah, coming off two tremendous showings against the likes of Phil Baroni and Chuck Liddell in UFC. Also uh, beating a veteran of MMA, Dean Thomas, last New Year's Eve, and now making his debut here in Pride Fighting Championships. Now look at this, the and Russian also, Michael Jackson. Displaying a little personality there. Hey. In the blue 
And if he has his way, he's going to smoke Dean Lister like he's smoking that stogie in his mouth right now. Man, are you fast? So Amar Sulawev making his way to the ring. He's all about the knockouts, boss. He's taking on a consummate grappler. Some say the world's best grappler in Dean Lister, but uh, something definitely tells me that Amar Sulawev is going to want to uh, strike fear into Dean Lister more ways than one. Oh, yeah. You can bet your life on that. And he has a lot of experience. What else? Um, he has about, what, 38 fights more? Yeah, That's a lot of experience. A lot of experience. And uh, you talk about experience. He was a World Valley Tudo eight-man tournament champion. Too hot to handle eight-man tournament champion. He also was successful at the World Championship of Pancration in Moscow back in 2000. A 1998 Asia Cup champion as well. This guy has a definite pedigree, all the credentials in the world, and the fans of Pride Fighting Championships are about to be treated to the skills of Amar Sulawev. Boss, there's been all kinds of movements afoot online and otherwise amongst hardcore MMA fans in North America. Their thought process was that this gentleman, Dean Lister, deserved the shot at the big time. Pride Fighting Championships is giving them that opportunity tonight. Yeah, I just wanted to say, well, here you got it. You know, he's got to step up. He has to beat Amar Silouev. Um, but you know what? It, it doesn't even matter. As long as you're going to fight like a lion at the Pride Fighting Championships, you are always a champion. He was a 2003 Abu Dhabi absolute champion. In fact, in that tournament, he won three of his four absolute matches by submission, setting an all-time Abu Dhabi record. Now, he, of course, a veteran, a king of the cage, coming off a spirited fight against MMA veteran Jeremy Horn, where he lost his light heavyweight championship. But like you say, boss, a loss really doesn't matter if you still acquit yourself properly and this gentleman is a tremendous tremendous grappler and you like you said at the top of the show boss his striking may surprise some people here tonight yeah hey listen he told us that uh, his striking is way better than people think so at least if you say that about yourself you gotta have good striking right so uh um, correct and like I said, you know, if he starts striking and he, he, he takes two left out of his game and then goes for a takedown on the ground, well, we pretty much know that he's better than Amar Sulawet. All of his victories have come via submission. Amar Sulawev, when we ask him what his favorite technique was, one word, knockout. So again, the consummate MMA matchup, striker versus grappler. Let's see who emerges victorious tonight. Knockout, two words. Knockout is actually one word. Okay. Thank you, though. Mr. Appreciate that. How dare you vituperate me? Sulawev is 28, 5'9", 200 pounds, making his debut in Pride again out of the Red Devil Sport Club in Russia. Lister, 28, 6'1", 205 pounds. Also, his first time in Pride Fighting Championships, representing his gym, City Boxing. Again, this matchup has been debated, it's been talked about, and now it is here, Bushido 4, Dean the Boogeyman Lister against Amar Sulawev. The reason they call him the Boogeyman Boss is because when he first started his career, seven opponents pulled out when they found out who were they, they were to face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your Boogeyman. That's, That's what, what I, I am. am. Okay. okay, let's start. Let's, uh, let's let the music happen in the ring, shall we? And here we go. This bout is underway. Nice inside low kick delivered by Lister. Nice jab there. Right through the guard. So Lister, off the bat, Another content right to low stand kick. up. So it's true what he said. Well, he said it his, his stand-up game is improving. He's become a solid striker in his view. And thus far, willing to 
go that route with Amar Sulaweb in the opening second. Nice oh, high roundhouse there can't. by Lister. Very impressive. The feeling out process here. Yep. Between Sulaweb and Lister. Lister, of course, there's a nice inside left low kick by Sulaweb. Has Lister in the corner. But Lister able to move around, so nice kick again by Lister. So really, Boss uh, going through a tip. There's a takedown attempt by Lister. But hey, good job by Sulaweb to avoid good it. Good job. Good takedown defense here. The fans appreciate that sequence. He should keep doing this. Stick the jab in, right low kick. Okay, now this is where Sulaweb gets really dangerous. Whoa, that was a good low kick. That was with the shin, so you didn't hear it, but you feel it. Another takedown attempt by Lister, and again, great takedown defense exhibited by Sulaweb. Lister in the bus coup position now. Uh, maybe a little surprised at uh, the fact he hasn't uh, been successful on those two shots of his. Really good reflexes from Amar Sulaweb here. And look at this, he's, he's waiting to explode. You know he's gonna explode with those punches. Right through the guard with that left hand. And a good attempt there by Lister, as you saw him, boss. He went with the left hand right away to the shot, but look at Sulev again. Maintaining the balance and positioning here, and there's a takedown by Sulev into the open guard of Lister. Yeah, I think it was more Lister falling back uh, and thinking, you know what, I'd rather have you on the ground than stand with you. That could very well be, but it was a takedown as well by Sulaweb as he tripped him down, did he not? Okay. Oh. Replay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to add fuel to the uh, forum fires there, boss. Don't worry about it, my friend. They restart him in the center of the ring. No, 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 no. Oh, a little uh, discussion here. Lister not agreeing with the positioning. Of the referee. No, 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 no. Okay. And the crowd is now responding. Uh, what's, the, what's the matter here, boss? I don't know. I really don't know. I didn't uh, freeze the picture in my mind. And I don't know what they started. I think this is the way they started. And you're right, though. This is where Lister is in his domain. He loves to spend as much time on the canvas as the likes of Van Gogh and Picasso. Well, he's already looking here. Getting a real high guard. He's pushing his hip away. Goes, he's going to go for an arm bar. Watch. Oh, oh good on. escape there by Sulawev. Back to his feet, and this is like where he wants to be. Yeah, they're going to restart it on their feet again. There are those special Bushido rules where the referee is instructed to bring them back to their feet if there is a lull in the action. Dean's got to watch out. He doesn't get sloppy. Panic reactions like he's doing, he's doing right now. It's not good. High roundhouse there by Solov. I think we're seeing a case here of where both fighters really respect each other, and sometimes that can uh, play itself out to where the action might not be what fans want it to be, but uh, something tells me the wick will be lit soon enough in this one. Yes, I just wanted to say the same thing. You watch. He's going to explode, both of them. Dean should throw more than just a left. Left, right, one, two. Misses with the right, but scores with the left jab. Does Lister? Right low kick, every right low kick that Dean throws, or the last two at least, it's blocked with a hand from Sulawab. It's not a smart thing to do. Nice shot there through the guard. Whoa, good takedown defense. <laughs> His defense is wow. really impressive. Dean, you can't be lazy with your left hand. He's come off the right. That's three times now that Lister has attempted to take Sulawab down. Three times, unsuccessful. There you go, come on, come on. Take the shot. The tension, you can feel the tension, look at that. Oh yeah, by no means is anyone bored right now, boss. No. Like you say, that you can feel that yep. something is about to happen. Nice inside, little kick there by Lister, and Solovev responds with a high left roundhouse, and there's a nice right hook. You're all right there, you're all right. Ooh, that was a full right hand there. 
that had hurt Lister. He doesn't show anything, so he can take a shot. That was a solid shot. We're halfway through round number one. Dean, the boogeyman Lister, against Amar Sulawev. He got to keep uh, his hands up when he kicks. But Sulawev, you do not want to make that mistake. If he makes that right low kick and he kicks it inside the leg, his hands are on his waist. Look, that's what you want to do with those kicks. Set it up. Kick on there. So Lister jumping into that right hand, blocked by Sulawev, doing a good job of parrying the shots. But again, Lister will try to kick down low and hopefully capitalize with a strike up top. But Sulawev, again, a master at striking, knows all the tricks of the trade. Yep. Somebody's going to get a card. A red card, both of them. Both of them are given. And uh, boss, let's bring everyone up to speed about these red cards. They are an unlimited source here in Pride Fighting Championships. They're like a yellow card in that you do get 10% of your purse docked, but the point being, they're given when they're stalling. They're, they're given uh, at the referee's discretion, and they're not the yellow card in that. If you get three yellow cards, you're disqualified. So uh, they need to pick up the pace here in the eyes of the referee. Yeah, and they should. I think uh, in the eyes of everybody. And well, they're yeah. picking up the pace right now, so it makes an exciting fight. More of an exciting fight. Look at this. The reflexes of Sulu are unbelievable. It's not like Muay Thai where you do go through that feeling out process for the opening round. Here no. it's mixed martial arts. You know, you do need to see action, especially in Bushido, where sustained action is definitely the mantra. <laughs> Yeah, so Sulawev better to set it up. Sulawev uh, with, uh, you know, the disadvantage. I mean, uh, Lister does have the reach advantage over Sulawev, but Sulawev will have to try to close that gap, close the distance. Maybe go to the jab a bit, and there you see him with a nice one-two combination. And both had impact. Really solid. Dean can really take a shot. Lister mix, misses with a wild uppercut. Now just bowls his way into Sulawev. Not much coming out of that. So yeah, is Lister frustrated because he's tried the uh, takedown three times and has been unsuccessful? What, what's, the, what's the case here, boss? I yeah, mean, of course. Listen, that's why he made that attempt like this. You know, he well, says, that, but that, let's try this. You know, let's let's rein in with some punches and try to go for an upper Yeah, body, but against maybe. a guy like Sulawev, you, I think Lister really does have to continue with his original game plan because uh, just because he's been stopped three times, it is still early in this fight, and uh, that's you know that's his strength. His main yeah, strength. Yeah, but you know what? He tried three times to shoot for the legs and it didn't work. And he thought, now, you know what? Let's go and try to come close to him and try for upper body. Well, then he you could know, be so in big trouble then because if the, sh the takedown attempts are not working against the likes of Sulawev, and let's face it, he hasn't been able to do much with the striking stand up. This is giving more and more confidence, I believe, to Amar Sulawev. No, you're absolutely right. But hey, listen, he, uh, he adapts to his game plan, so that's, that's good points for me. I would say that it's, you know, he's exploring. He's not doing the same thing all the time. You see, now he goes for... Ah, uh, a very weak uh, takedown attempt there, really telegraphing that, and Sulawev almost catching him with a kick on the way down. Yeah, if it keeps like this, the ref will probably give him another warning. Another red card, perhaps. Again, those are unlimited. There's no quota. Oh, and another right straight. Beautiful right hand there by Sulawev. But again, give kudos to Lister, able to yeah. take a shot. And, and coming back, he's not even flinched. Nope. Look at this. Oh, if Sulawev starts following this up with body shots and hooks to the head. I think they need to start disrespecting each other maybe a little bit, though, boss. I mean, there is a, a, a time to say, okay, you're a great fighter, I'm a great fighter, but we got we to gotta get it on here. The fans have paid great money, uh, and especially for this belt, really looking forward to this matchup. Let's see some fireworks here. Yep. You're right, man. Nice call, man. You could hear the snap of that kick. And you saw in his face that it hurt. <laughs> yeah, he and that is not right. You cannot show that. Oh, beautiful oh, high nice roundhouse by Lister. And they uh, 